Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Quite an exciting video for me today because um, this is the first time I've worked with a company uh, to kind of build on my off-grid household solar array. So this isn't a sponsored video, I paid for this battery, but they are kind of working with me um, on quite a personal level, kind of giving me advice and, and everything else. So what they've, what they've sent me, again, I've paid for this. I'm not going to tell you how much I've paid for it because that's not really fair to the company, but um, I have paid for it. And it's from a company called DC House. You can find them on Amazon uh, in America, Amazon in the UK, and on eBay and a few other sites. DC House, they've sent me out a 51.2 volt, 50 amp hour, which is 2,560 uh, 2, watt hours, life go for lithium ion phosphate battery uh, with 4,000 cycles and a 10 year lifespan with uh, a BMS and everything else. Comes with a nice nice little manual. You also get a specification card, which tells you uh, serial numbers, maximum continuous charge and discharge is 50 amps. Uh, standard charge and discharge is 25 amps. Operation voltage is 40 volts to 58.4 and rated voltage 51.2 volts. Um, the weight is 26.5 kilograms and the operation temperature is zero to 55 degrees centigrade. And it's got a really nice metal case to it, nice and sturdy. Um, and by all accounts, it's, it's able to do 200 amps for 10 seconds, which is its um, surge peak current. So I did have a quick look inside, which I wouldn't normally do because uh, I'm not confident enough normally to strip something like this down. But these have been designed to, um, or they look like they've been designed for you to be able to actually open them up and remove and service parts. So I'll include some footage of what it looks like inside. The cells all look good. Uh, I checked the QR code on the cells. Um, and it came up with hefium or hefium cells uh, 16 3.2 volt cells that's how you get your 51.2 volts um, i don't know much about raw cells grade a grade b um, it's not in my experience level really to go into raw cells and tell you whether they're good or whether they're not when i check check the voltage of this um, it came charged uh, it was 30 percent charge and it had 52.7 52.7 volts, which is around about 30% charge. So I'm going to charge it up to 100% and we're going to swap it out for the 48 volt energy battery that I bought, which I was massively disappointed by. Too much technology in that battery, um, too much of a parasitic uh, load on the battery. So over the course of the night, all the sensors and the heated pads and everything else that's involved in that battery um, took the voltage down massively overnight. Um, that's a premium battery, and we need to sell that battery at a very, very, very high price. Um, so, you know, this is very much kind of a budget battery. Um, it sells on eBay and Amazon for about £450. Sometimes you can get a little bit cheaper. But yeah, £450 is the actual price of this. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to swap it out, like I said, with the Renergy battery, and we're going to put it through its paces. I'm going to put some nice big loads on it, like my tumble dryer uh, with my hybrid inverter, and we're just going to test it for a couple of weeks, and we're going to see how this thing holds up. Um, it could be a game changer for a lot of people that want a budget 48-volt large system. And if the BMS holds up and the cells hold up, um, it, it kind of makes solar affordable for everyone. So stay tuned to the next few videos.